2016. The United States policy of isolation doesn't spark an even bigger collapse within the nation and its military budget is cut down and its total personnel drops to around 1 million. Its navy is almost non-existent, but its air force remains intact. During this year, Chris Christie changes his party affiliation due to the need for larger government and is chosen to run with Hillary Clinton as her vice presidential candidate. The two appeal to both parties and win in a landslide comparable to Reagan's re-election, although do not carry Texas and most of the Great Plains states. The Brazilian civil war ends in the overthrow of the current government, but rebel leader José Reblo, who is viewed as a freedom fighter against oppressive government, takes power and forms a communist dictatorship on August 1, 2016. This strategy mirrors that of Fidel Castro of Cuba. Throughout the rest of this year, he helps communist revolutions across South America overthrow the socialist governments in Chile, Argentina, Peru, and Ecuador, failing in Uruguay and Venezuela. These countries begin to grow closer and form alliances based on disdain for the USA. Indian and Chinese relations begin to improve as they begin trading with each other. The Chinese border crisis begins due to a lack of food and money in Southeast Asia as inhabitants of these nations begin entering China illegally from the south. The Russian economy continues to grow as nations around the world begin trading with Russia in the absence of the United States. The Eurasian Union is further tested by a civil war in Kazakhstan led by anti-Russian militants who end up being successful in overthrowing the government. The new president of Kazakhstan, while remaining part of the Eurasian Union, is vocally anti-Russia. Europe continues to fall apart, almost every Western European country declaring bankruptcy excluding the UK, which after a short or due to tensions from poor living conditions, splits into three countries, with Wales absorbing Northern Ireland, and Germany. Germany and Denmark form a temporary economic and military alliance. Denmark becoming a territory of Germany in exchange for protection from the German armed forces, which began growing after Germany left the EU, becoming nearly the largest military power in Europe. This agreement stimulated the economy, which also became one of the largest in Europe. Australia, sensing the impending conflict, began increasing its military budget, causing economic turbulence. Australia also purchased New Zealand for $67 billion, nearly bankrupting the country. Fortunately, there was still enough economic mobility for the government to earn this money back. 2017 Donald Trump took office this year, and the United States removed itself from world affairs almost entirely. The economy did not continue to get worse, but did however remain stagnant. ISIS began performing terror attacks in the continental U.S. and continued its conquest of the Middle East. Brazil invaded Paraguay and Uruguay and conquered them, adding their territory to Brazil. The economy of South American countries began slowly but surely improving thanks to closely knit alliances and friendships. Reblo suggested that the communist governments of South America form one large union called the Brazilian Union of Communist States. BCS, an idea that caught on fairly quickly with the Union being established on May 14, 2017. The BCS would be ruled by the President, José Reblo, but each individual nation would be governed by its respective leader, chosen by Reblo. The BCS invaded Bolivia on July 3 and it was added to the BCS a short time after, placing the majority of South America under BCS rule. In December of this year, the BCS would purchase South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands for $6.7 billion. China declared that its government is barely sustainable without trade with America and increased trade with India and Russia. The Eurasian Union is disbanded after threats of war against Russia from Kazakhstan, and Putin calls Kaseyinov a deplorable fool. Russian increases in military spending prompt talks of a second Cold War between the United States and Russia except this time, the United States was not likely to come out on top. Kim Jong-un threatens to invade South Korea if the United States does not remove its sanctions. The United States invade and occupy Taiwan, giving it independence from China, and promise to defend it in the event of a Chinese counter-invasion, 
hoping to gain territory near South Korea in order to defend it in the event of a North Korean invasion. On October 9, Iran formally announced that it had nuclear weapons capable of reaching the United States, and that it planned to eradicate Israel from the face of the earth. Canada began taking the place of the United States in the region, putting strict sanctions on Iran and threatening it with war if it attacked either Israel or the United States. It became apparent at this time that the United States was no longer defending other countries, other countries were defending the United States. The UN was disbanded on November 18 after, in a meeting, the representatives from the United States and several of its allied countries were shot and killed by the Pakistani representative, who was a member of ISIS. The building, however, remained intact, should the UN ever reform. Japan suffers a devastating tsunami on both sides of the island, raising the sea level in some major cities. European economies remain bankrupt, prompting chaos and anarchy in many countries, and Germany aided some of the governments in stabilizing their economies and restoring order. France begins a slow recovery after forming a temporary alliance with Germany known as the Franco-German Alliance. Germany surpassed England as the largest economy in Europe and nearly triples the size of its army in 2017. 2018 The United States entered another recession after new taxes went into effect on January 1st. Clinton vetoed the Keystone Pipeline three times during this year, and America remained dependent on what small energy it could obtain in Texas and desert states. Industrial advancement all but ceased and the national debt exceeded $30 trillion. Canada began increasing its military spending greatly and soon was on par with the BCS. The BCS economy fully stabilized and many people were generally satisfied with the government, save for a strict curfew and a few cases of citizen mistreatment. The BCS became one of the largest military powers in the world, surpassing all but China, England, the United States, and Russia. China, Russia, and India became very close due to their trade systems, and Russia entered an economic boom in which quality of life increased greatly. Vladimir Putin began to be hailed as one of the greatest modern Russian leaders and won his second election in a landslide. China's economy stops its downward spiral, but remains stagnant. A video of Hillary Clinton denouncing Putin as a hot-headed narcissist surfaced in December, and Putin began talk of expanding into Europe and invited Clinton to try and stop him. Clinton warned him not to try anything like that while the greatest nation on earth stands in his way. Putin began funding several projects created to advance Russian military technology. Yemen was absorbed by Saudi Arabia after its government was overthrown by a terrorist group. Iran ordered Israel to allow Palestine to become independent or face utter destruction. This demand was carried out due to Israeli fears of abandonment by the United States. Iran began forcing people to enlist in the military, growing its manpower to nearly one million. Germany continued its growth and soon became what was considered a superpower at that time. Some would argue that it was more secure than the United States during this period. England and the rest of the former United Kingdom continued to fall behind and England was forced to cut down on its military. 2019, Jan February The United States economy remained in decline and widespread unrest settled on the nation. A role reversal had taken place between Russia and the United States. Russia grew and its military improved, and the United States declined, as did its military. Many considered this to be the second Cold War, but these people were sadly mistaken. Canada's military surpassed the United States. The US military surpassed the Russia, China, and Germany, behind only United States, Canada, and England. Its economy surpassed China's as well. Asian affairs remained generally the same, except for a failed Japanese invasion of Taiwan to secure more land per city lost in the tsunamis. Putin finishes plans for a major war in Europe and Asia, and depending on how it turned out, the United States and Canada. China's economy entered a second decline due to the immigration crisis, and it decided to deal with the situation by force. Sudan and South Sudan had a short war, resulting in the unification of the two nations.